welcome to crack it today we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic which is very common in interview questions these days that's nothing but how are we handling auditing information or auditing metadata in our application so it's very simple so uh, we have like 100 number of tables in our application and each of the tables we will have created by created at updated by an updated at columns are we persisting those columns manually in each and every table no that is not the case then how are we handling it so we are not manually handling those four columns or whatever the auditing metadata information that we have in our application instead we will make spring data jpa handle those auditing let's see how today through coding so i'm using the same example that we used for at valid and at validated demo if you want to see the differences between at valid and at validated annotations i'll provide the link here you can go and check so i'll anyways explain what is uh, there in this code so we have a, a controller wherein we have a get mapping and a post mapping so post mapping is to save my crack it object and the get mapping is to get the crack it object through id so in my crack it object i have like four columns id name playlist name and views so i have made a little change to the demo so uh, that we already discussed that is nothing but this crack it object is now extending a base entity so what is there in the base entity i have like four columns which is nothing but created at created by updated at and updated by so uh, in all our applications in in our day to day applications we will have all these four columns and uh, these four columns i have given it as a base entity as a separate entity why because if suppose i am going to create one more entity say crack it one or whatever the entity we will create that entity will also just extend this base entity we will not repeat these four columns in each and every of our each and every entities instead we will have this as a base entity and we will extend that base entity to all our entity classes so that's what we will do in our daily application so for the crack it i didn't do anything fancy i am just extended this crack it entity to by to a base entity which has all these four columns so i'll start the application now and let's see how the application behaves so i have started the application let's go to the postman and i am calling this now so it is uh, saying that saved successfully so what i'll do is i'll try to fetch this information and see what is there for the crack it uh, created by created at so all my all these four values is null why all these four values is null while persisting it to the database i didn't pass any values so all these four values are null so let's make some changes to our application first let's make some changes to our application and let's see how these four columns gets updated by spring data jpa automatically so to implement that in our application we need to add four important steps so let's now see what are those four important steps so we need to add at created date sorry at created date annotation to our created it at created by to our created by column at last modified date to our updated at column and at last modified by to our updated by column so this is the first step what is our first step our first step is to add these four annotations to all these four columns what is our second step spring has something called auditor aware interface so we need to implement that interface in our in one of our classes so for that i'll uh, first create a package called audit and i'll implement that auditor aware implementation auditor aware implementation i'll add it and i will implement springs auditor aware here so for this i need to pass some data type here so what should be my data type that data type should be the value that i need to save it to my updated by and the created by columns so for my updated by and created by i have string so in a real life application what values will we 
will we uh, we will store it in the created by and updated by so we need to store the logged in users name or logged in users information in this created by and the updated by so for now in our application we didn't implement spring security if we have implemented spring security then using that spring security we have to uh, fetch the logged in user from the security context and we need to update that information with the created by and the updated by columns since we didn't implement spring security for now i'll tell you how we can hard code that these are created by and the updated by columns as a logged in user but in our future videos we will first uh, cover how we can implement a spring security in in a spring boot application i'll cover uh, in a separate video along with that video i will show you how we can uh, take the logged in user and how we can save it uh, uh, to the uh, database so for now in this video i'll cover how we can implement this auditor our my our main focus is to implement this functionality data auditing functionality so what are we saving it in our database it is the string so we need to provide string here so if we implement auditor our we need to override a method what is that method it is nothing but the get current auditor method so since we are going to hard code a value i am passing the value as logged in underscore user so this value will get saved to my database for the created by and the updated by columns now if suppose we have that spring security implemented we need to fetch the uh, value from the security context and we need to pass that value here so and also as the next step we need to implement we need to add at component annotation here and we need to provide some value here to it so it is nothing but the bean name so i am giving the bean name as auditor our impl so this is my second step first step is to add these four annotations second step is to write a class which implements auditor our interface so what is my third step my third step is to add at entity listener annotation and at entity listener annotation to my base entity class so what is uh, that in audit sorry audit entity listener dot class so i need to add this at entity listener annotation to my base entity then what do i need to do i need to go to my this application then i need to enable jpa auditing and i need to provide the value here sorry i need to provide the component name that i have given here so my component name is auditor aware impl so i need to pass that value here so these are the steps what and all i did i have uh, um, what and all i did as a first step i added these annotations second i have created this auditor of our implementation class third i have added this at entity listener to my base entity then i have enabled at jpa auditing and i have provided my component value here so i will restart the spring application now and let's go to the postman and i'll save this object first sorry I'll save this object first and I can see that that got saved successfully then I'll go to get and I'll fetch the same value here and let's see what happens so if you see here created at created by columns got updated so uh, updated by column is also updated but this is not the right let's go see our entity what is wrong yes sorry by mistake i have added updated by as equal to false it should be insertable equal to false so the logic is for the created by columns while updating these values should not get updated and for the updated by and the updated at while inserting the record this value should not get updated that is the logic so i'll start stop the application and start it again since it is a h2 database that value we need to create again using the post call so i'll pass it it is saying that that value got saved successfully i'll get that value again and see yes if you see here updated at and updated by is null 
so when will these two values get updated if we have suppose we uh, for now we didn't have a put call in our application we will add it and see whether these two values are get ordered or not let's add a put mapping here so it's very simple let's add a put mapping here so add put mapping crack it with id yeah i'll pass it and i'll change it as update crack it yes update it successfully so we have created the put mapping let's do one thing start stop the application and start it again let's go to the postman so this is a h2 database so each time i need to save that object so i'll save that object first and i'll try to fetch the information so get you can see that created by uncreated by uh, sorry created at and created by got updated it so i'll call put with the same values i'll just uh, remove this hyphen one hyphen one from the input just for uh, to make it visualizable easily so i'll pass get and you can see that the values get updated we removed hyphen one hyphen one yes it got removed also you can see that updated at an updated by column got updated so it is saved in the time 3448 and it got updated in the time 3805 so we can prove that this uh, spring data jpa auditor aware is working uh, properly so with this we come to the end of this demo so we now know how we can implement uh, uh, auditing metadata information using spring data jpa it's very simple we can uh, we are da using daily in our applications and this is a commonly asked interview questions these days like people will ask how are you implementing uh, uh auditing in our application in your uh, spring boot application or in your microservices application yes this is the answer thanks for watching crack it please support us with your likes shares and subscriptions stay tuned for updates